Okay, today we're going to just do a quick review on SimpleCAD, and you'll find SimpleCAD in your menu bar. Uh, before we get started, let's just quickly uh, have a look at the architectural design assignment. And our task that we're going to get to is we're going to select a site, a building site. So this will be our subdivision somewhere in Coburg. And we have four choices, A, B, C, and D. And you're going to pick one, and I'm going to just pick this first one. You can pick whichever one you want. And one thing we need to know here is that the, the actual piece of land is 200 meters by 500 meters. And just to take a quick second, you'll notice that it fronts onto Ontario Street. So we could have one entrance there, and on this side street, we'll make another entrance to our subdivision. So now let's go into SimpleCAD. And uh, first, let's just have a look at SimpleCAD here for a second. Um, the objects that where we're actually going to draw with our tools is in the object menu. And if you lose it, you'll find it right here on the bottom. So that turns it on and off. You can turn off the menu bar. You can turn off the side toolbar and measurements on or off. So now let's set some things up. So let's go File, uh, SimpleCAD, Preferences. Let's set it to millimeters. And let's set our grid size to 2. So that will give us, we'll actually be able to see our grid size. 1 would be more convenient, but 2, uh, because of the size of the drawing, will cause us a problem. So we'll say OK. Uh, then we'll go File, New, and we're going to make it uh, let's have a white background and let's make it 600 because we're going to do 500 by 200 so we'll do 600 by 300 as our actual limits of our drawing and there it is and uh, so let's draw a rectangle that is the size of our spot that we're going to use so in this case we're going to say pull open the objects menu we're going to come here to rectangle and it says first point point. and at this point I'm going to type in 50 comma 50 enter and I can do it two ways now I could type in uh, 550 550 comma and then 250 which is 500 by 200 plus 50 because we started there and we could hit enter now, I'm going to just undo, well, let's zoom out for a second so you can see the whole box that I've made. And so there is our limits of our drawing and the rectangle that's going to be our spot. Uh, but let's undo that for a second. Remember, undo is Command Z. And let's draw that again, but this time, let's go 50, 50, enter. And now let's do what's called relative. So we do the at symbol, which means we're going to just go from our first point and we're going to add on to it, and we're going to go 500, 200. I'm going to hit enter, and you'll notice it's exactly the same thing. Uh, I'm going to close my box here for a second, and uh, let's just rename this uh, lot. Okay, so in our, well, let's make a new layer, and let's call this one roads and we're gonna make it active so anything we draw will be on this layer and we're gonna draw a uh, a road that comes right along here for the perimeter and then we're gonna draw a secondary road inside and then we'll build from there so we're gonna start with down here now if I want to turn the grid on I can turn the grid on but I'm so zoomed in that I can't see the grid which is a problem uh, so let's draw a rectangle, and we're going to put snap to grid on, so we're going to snap right to here, and we want it to be from this corner, we want our lot to, we're going to make really deep lots, 50 meters, so they're good sized lots. So how can we figure out what this point is? Well, we know that we went 550, so we can go 550 comma and we know we have 50 so we're going to come up 100 so we say 100 enter and now we want to come back this way 
Now, we could figure out that position again, but that's a lot of math. So all we're going to do is we're going to use the relative thing again. So we're going to say at, then we're going to say minus 18 in the x direction, and I'm wrong. We're going to say minus 400, 450 in the x direction, and then we're going to go up 18, and that should make our rectangle. And so that's going to be our first road. Now let's grab onto this corner right here, and we're good for that. We're going to use this O snap that's called endpoint, and we'll say draw us a rectangle from this point right here. And this time we want to go up. And so we're going to go relative position, 18 units, which is the width of our road, comma, and then we want to come up here to that point. We know all of this is 200, and we know we've started at 50, so we know that we want to go up 150. And there's our two roads. Now let's zoom in on this area here so we can trim this corner. So we're going to zoom in here. And now we want to trim off this corner so we'd actually go around the corner. So to do that, we come over here and grab the Trim tool. And we click on a line that we're going to use as a cutting edge. So in this case, I want to use this one. I hit Enter. And then I say, hey, let's get rid of this little piece right here. Let's cut that out. Hit Enter to complete. So now let's do it again. So I'll just click off here so nothing is selected. And now we're going to use this little line to cut this piece. So we're going to say trim, click on this line, enter, and then get rid of this piece, please, and then enter again. And so now we have a really nice corner. And now all we want to do is round those corners out. And remember in tech, in CAD Talk, that's called a, a fillet. So I click here on the fillet and it says great. Now we have to decide what radius we want. So we hit R for radius and right now it's set at 9.3. So let's try a radius of 10 and see what happens. So we're going to click this line first, this line second, and you'll see we've got a great little corner happening there. So we're happy with that. So now we just want to trim this part again. And again, we're going to go here to the trim command. And we're going to say, please use this little arc we have created. Enter. And then let's get rid of this little piece and that little piece. Enter. And now you're going to do that again on your corner. But now let's go back and let's make a lot. So we want to fill this area in with a lot. So again, we're going to come over to the Layers menu. And we're going to call it something crazy like lots. Change its color. Let's change it to a green. And now we want to go from this corner this way. So again, we'll open up our objects. Let's change our snap back to end point. Grab onto that corner. And now we know how deep our lot is, so we're going to do the relative trick again. So we go at, and I'm going to make this one a 30 by 50 lot. So I say minus 30, comma, and I'm going down, so I say minus 50. And there's my first lot. Now, I can do a couple of tricks here. First of all, I could simply go and go copy. And I can select my object, come up here to copy. I've selected my object. I hit enter. It says, well, where do you want to copy from? I'm going to click on this corner. And now I'm going to click on the next corner. And so I can just keep doing that, copy and paste it over. So let's try that one more time. So I've got it selected. I hit copy, the point I want to start with. And you'll notice because I have the end point selected, it jumps right back into its position which is a super easy way to do that. So that's how you can go about making your um, lots. 
The next thing you need to do is some of the services. So let's make another layer, and in this layer, let's call this water. And for the water layer, obviously, we would change it to blue. And in this layer, it's kind of simple, because all we need to do here is draw a line. Now we want to draw the line straight. So if I hold down Shift, it will make my line straight. And I'll just stop there. There's my line. And then I need to make branches into each one of my lots. So I simply hold down click, hold down shift. Whoops, let's try that again. I need to turn endpoint off, don't I? I can turn the grid on again. So here we're going to draw our line straight into our lot that shows where our water will be. And we want to do it neatly so all of our lines are the same length, etc., etc. So there's the branch for our water. Again, we can do the next one, which we could say is hydro. And uh, I guess we're going to use a golden color, which is fine. Make it sure it's active. And then neatly just have that line run right beside our water line. Now, in truth, they wouldn't run electricity right beside in the same hole as they would run water, because they don't mix very well, do they? Now, don't forget, you're required to make a green space, and that could be a path that runs all the way around uh, through everyone's yard. It could be a big park in the middle. Uh, also, remember, you're supposed to have a drainage pond, which is equal to 4%. Um, that's all for my tutorial. Good luck, and I hope this helps out. Talk to you soon.